anyone who has seen Lilo and Stitch knows that Lilo's social worker, Cobra Bubbles, was actually a former agent of the CIA before he made the major shift in his career to becoming a social worker. But not just any social worker. As you know, Mr. Bubbles was specifically assigned to Lilo and Nani's case, thus he was monitoring the sisters very closely. The less fun part of that fun fact is the reason why Lilo and her older sister need to deal with a social worker in the first place. That's because we learned that, sadly, both of their parents pass away after getting into a fatal car accident, which left Nani, a teenager, in charge of her younger sister Lilo, who was very young at the time. So social services put Cobra Bubbles in charge of monitoring the two sisters in order to make sure that the situation was something that would be considered suitable for a child. But something that a lot of Lilo and Stitch fans don't realize is that the entire story about what happened to Lilo's mom and dad is likely a cover-up for what really happened behind the scenes. It turns out that Lilo and Nani's parents might not have been the normal people that their children believed them to be. And perhaps Mr. Bubbles is really still Agent Cobra and has been working for the CIA while maintaining his cover as a social worker in order to stick close to Nani and her little sister. Check this out. Not to sound like a broken record here, but as we just said, Agent Cobra Bubbles worked for the CIA for, presumably, quite some time before making the huge change in his career path to becoming a social worker. I can't emphasize how big of a difference in careers that is. I mean, there is hardly any comparison aside from the paperwork, maybe? So what in the world could have made Bubbles want to leave his chosen profession and start an entirely new one? He would have had to have a really good reason, like a dire reason to make such a shift. Well, one Redditor, Kapukoa, introduced fans to an interesting theory, which stated that the reason Agent Bubble quit working at the CIA was because something happened to one or two of his partners. And in this scenario, his partners used to be either one of or both of Lilo and Nani's parents, and thus caused Lilo and Nani to be left on their own. And it left Bubbles feeling like he needed to help watch over his former partner's children. There's actually a ton of supporting evidence for this as well. This would certainly explain one of the reasons why Bubbles didn't take Lilo out from the care of her older sister Nani. It's because he knew that if anything happened, he would be right there to help as a social worker, aka CIA agent. Another supporting factor in this theory actually takes a look at the risk he takes in not reporting what was really happening at Lilo's home with her older sister. And the reason I know he wasn't reporting the information back to his bosses at social services is because if he had been telling them about Lilo and Nani's living conditions, they would have likely snatch Lilo up in a heartbeat. I mean, I love Nani, and she's a wonderful guardian to Lilo. But from an outside perspective, she definitely seemed way in over her head trying to maintain Lilo at some points. And to a social worker, almost everything in their home and everything about Lilo's behavior would definitely be a red flag. So either the child service workers don't really care about doing their jobs in Lilo and Stitch, or Cobra Bubbles is specifically leaving out anything from his reports that would get Lilo taken away from her sister. So again, let's ask the big question. Why would Bubbles be doing such a thing? Jeopardizing his job like that for a seemingly random family? Of whom he seems to have no connection to? Because let's be honest, if his company finds out how much he had been neglecting his duties as a social worker, he would likely be fired in an instant. Well, it's because he did have a connection to Lilo and Nani, but in a way that they were unaware. If he and Lilo's parents were partners and worked together in some capacity, that would clearly explain his dedication to the two kids and using his social worker status as a cover-up for who he really was throughout the movie. Plus, notice how when Lilo's life crosses paths with aliens? That's when Bubbles becomes a more hands-on social worker, not simply a passive observant one. This actually shows us a couple of things. First, he's clearly not just a social worker. Social workers, even with the background CIA experience, Experience, don't just intervene in that manner. Yes, they take away the kids, but that's really the only action they perform when it comes to intervening. No, Agent Bubbles goes full-blown CIA and protective over the two, and still doesn't take Lilo away from Nani after the fact. So clearly he's in it for more than just being a social worker. Also, notice how he was ready for it to happen, almost like he expected it, which might hint at the fact that Lilo and Nani's parents went through a similar fate, rather than their cover of a car accident. And we can actually see this by looking at Bubbles' time in the CIA, more specifically his extensive knowledge about aliens and their intergalactic law. This could only suggest that, at least in some capacity, he had contact with aliens, whether it had been him working on an assignment that had to do with interstellar life, or he just happened to be around someone who had. He he clearly knew what he was talking about and how to properly address the Grand Councilwoman when she came to take Stitch at the end of the film. And she clearly recognized him, or at least the fact that he was familiar with their ways, unlike most humans. And of course, if Bubbles had contact with aliens, then his partners might have as well, right? And that would mean that Lilo wasn't the first person in her family to interact with aliens, meaning that she and her parents might have been a lot closer than she realized in the film, something that we will touch upon later in the video. But if you're still not exactly convinced that Lilo's mother and father worked for the CIA, 
Take a look at Lilo for a second and her obsession with photography. I mean, without a doubt, Lilo could be described as a shutterbug. Lilo is almost constantly filling up her film strip and her camera. We even see how proud she is when she tells Nani that her camera is full again. And it's clear that this is a regular occurrence because Nani seems visibly irritated by the fact that she has to get the film developed again. But what if it clued us in on something more, specifically to very real possibilities of where this habit or hobby stemmed from? Well, one of the big theories out there is actually this idea that Lilo isn't filling up her camera because she particularly enjoyed taking pictures. And instead, she was doing it as a way for her to remain close to her parents who weren't around anymore. The first way people conceptualized this was that she suffered a great loss. And rather than taking pictures of her broken family, she started taking pictures of other people, other couples who reminded her of her wholesome family, basically meaning that it was her way of maintaining the wholesome life and family she used to have, but no longer could experience without her parents. And we definitely think this is a factor in her extreme focus on her photography skills. But there's actually a second concept that explains this point a little bit further. If we buy into the idea that her parents were a part of the CIA, that could mean that while they were still around, they probably showed CIA tendencies that they never explicitly defined to their children. More specifically, as a part of the CIA, they probably had certain surveillance missions they went on as a part of their career. Take a look at the type of pictures Lilo actually takes. Notice how she has a tendency to take pictures of overweight people. It's almost a little weird how many larger people she has pictures of compared to normal sites around the island, or even just memories in general. Well, what if one of Lilo's parents actually took her on missions without Lilo realizing it? And specifically low-risk missions as to not put their daughter in danger. This would allow whichever parent who had her to use the cover of their daughter to take surveillance photos of targets for the CIA. Think about it, most people wouldn't look twice at two vacationing family members taking photos, even if the camera was pointed in their direction. Nowadays, you might even assume they're taking a selfie. So the idea is that Lilo would go with one of her parents on surveillance missions, under the guise that the two were just spending time together. And for whatever reason, their target was an overweight person at the time. Hence, Lilo's obsession with taking pictures of bigger people. It would also be fair to assume that aspects of their parents' lives would bleed into other parts of theirs. Take a look at the types of books that Lilo reads as another example. Most kids are into fun picture books or some gentle nonfiction chapter books. Lilo is totally different though. I mean, how many little girls do you know that are interested in oyster farming? To the point where they have a book about it. Because for me, that answer is zero for sure. Marine biology, maybe, but oyster farming? And how old is Lilo? Like eight? The only reason she would be reading that book is one, if someone inspired her to, or two, she was an oyster farmer. She even had a book on Iowa's roadmaps. Why in the world would she need that? Unless it belonged to her parents. Think about it, CIA agents would need to be very knowledgeable about anything concerning their various assignments. So these likely belong to Lilo's mother and father, and she probably saw them studying them all of the time. So, much like with the camera and the photographs, she too studied them so that she could remain close to her parents. To think that Lilo has been carrying around the weight of her parents who, as we said, are seemingly dead, at least as far as Lilo and Nani know, is kind of heartbreaking. And whether she realized it or not, most of her hobbies or outlets seem to be ways that she keeps her parents close to her heart, because they're her family, and as we know, no, family means nobody gets left behind. So now the big question is this, what happened to Lilo's parents and are they actually dead? As far as fans are concerned, especially when it comes to this theory, it seems like they're divided into two schools of thought. The first is that Lilo's parents aren't actually dead and instead the story of their death was just covering up the fact that the parents went into hiding or possibly went on some sort of interstellar assignment. After all, as we speculated earlier, Lilo's parents, if they had been working with Agent Bubbles and the CIA, would likely have been involved in any extraterrestrial cases that Bubbles was working on. But in in order to sell their disappearance to the world without raising suspicion from anyone into what they might be doing, they had to fake their own deaths. This likely included the car accident that they hint at in Lilo and Stitch, meaning that though they might be alive, their children think that their parents are dead and will never be coming back. The other school of thought is that Lilo's parents are actually deceased and that there is no cover-up happening. This one is largely due to an episode of Lilo and Stitch the series where they pretty much solidify the fact that her parents did in fact die in the car accident. However, most people are still not 100% what could be considered canon in the series or not, meaning that without the executives over at Disney weighing into the debate, the world might just never know what fate actually befell the parents of Lilo and Nani. All we know is that over the years, Lilo has kept her parents in her heart and she will never forget the motto that her father taught her about Ohana. Ohana means family, and family means that nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Now the thing that I like about this theory is how it would be a good insight as to how Agent Bubbles knows so much about alien life, and why, as a social worker, he was so lenient when it came to dealing with Nani and Lilo. I mean, we love them, but that was not the healthiest home environment for a young girl or a young adult. And let's all be honest, if there is even the slightest chance that Lilo's parents were still alive, wouldn't that just be a nice alternative to them being dead? But what do you guys think? Do you think this theory holds any weight? 
be sure to let us know in the comments down below. As for now, that's all Disney fans. Let us know what video you'd like to see next in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.